being, I'm going to be on live stream, which is <laughs> one thing you just don't want to think about. <laughs> because the whole world is seeing what you're saying right now. And it doesn't matter if it's from the Philippines or from your mom's house or from whatever. It's not like you're a teenager in your parents' basement putting on a live stream on Facebook and saying, I don't know, what, whatever they would say on there. Um, and and it just be your friends and family. It's it's the whole world that you're talking to. to. So I thought to myself as I was thinking, I'm going to be behind this pulpit. I'm going to be behind that ear with the earpiece. And I'm going to be on the live stream. I thought, this is serious business. We're live streaming our first service. Amen. Amen. Now the problem with that is I've got to blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Do you sit here and just sniffle throughout the service? Blow it. Or do you let it run down your nose and then get caught licking it off your lips? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made it worse. Or do I rub it on my finger and then... <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't quality, so we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> so we live streamed our first service last week. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised by the uh, I was surprised by the response. I had told Madison, I said, uh, you can live stream if you want, but there'll be like twelve people. And uh, so far we're almost at a thousand. <laughs> I want you to know chapels. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the socks on that you sent me. <laughs> I really appreciate that. <laughs> this is it. Nobody else is ever watching you again. <laughs> closer than this. <laughs> Russ, I thought this was a good idea until I hit Jocelyn in the face with it. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea was to make the loop and we could walk around with it. <laughs> so if you'll keep that in mind. All right. Well, remember the social distancing rule? Oh. <laughs> and, uh, I'll mess up his hair now. <laughs> This would not mess up his hair. <laughs> Isaiah 51. Therefore, therefore, yeah, therefore, the redeemer. I was looking at Romans 5 and saying Isaiah 51. <laughs> Chapter 43, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, let's see. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. Let's sing Isaiah 40, 31. Therefore, the, they that wait upon the Lord. <laughs> Lord, do I lift up my soul. Psalm 25, verse 1 through 4, and verse 7. I got to look at it and make sure I remember how we sing it. Yeah, yeah, just follow along. One through four and verse seven, Psalm 25. And then uh, Academy graduation, woohoo! May 22nd. Y'all are the least excited graduates I have ever seen in my life. Um, May 22nd at 7 p.m. <laughs> uh, all right, announcements. May 22nd is our graduation for our Academy, and we look forward to uh, graduating two young ladies. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's the most excitement right there, Allie. Thank you. Um, got a little bit of a fist pump. <laughs> oh, mercy.
All right, we don't have a pianist up here. Uh, did I do this wrong again? Am I not following the schedule, brother? Or is it all your fault? It's the pianist's fault. <laughs> Thank you, Jocelyn, it's your fault. I want to invite you to take your Bible and find the book Psalms, verse uh, chapter, or I guess I should back up, the 37th Psalm. Hey, sis, good to see you tonight. Karen's a hot mess over there, amen? <laughs> All right. If you can stand, let's sing this song, and then pastor's going to shuck the corn. <laughs> good to see some of Tiffany's family in town. Good to see you. I guess they care about Kaylee. Where's Allie? Amen. Yeah. You got any family coming in, sis? They, <laughs> they don't love you. Well, we love you. We'll be at your graduation. <laughs> we'll sit on your side of the uh, church. Amen. There are two things that you'll probably remember most about this graduation year in 2020. And uh, the number one thing would be this. <laughs> I never thought I'd see a time in my life that this was such a commodity. Yes. And the number two thing would be this. <laughs> so the two things that will be most memorable, I think, for this graduation year 2020, the class of quarantine, as has been stated so many times. Uh. Well, folks, I have to tell you, sorry, sister. I'm a little nervous doing this, being the first time on the camera. You know, you know they say the camera packs on weight, so I apologize for filling up people's screens at home. You know you're the only reason people are tuning in. I mean, our views went way down when Mike Sullivan was up here. Um. Okay. This is from the chapels all the way over in England. <laughs> Let's see. We'll put 400 on pastor. <laughs> the chapels from England. They say, we'll put 400 on pastor. Jed says, with love from the chapels. <laughs> and he doesn't care if Kenny gets pied as long as pastor does. <laughs> so if you've ever seen me try to wave my hand, I don't. And I have to look at the piano player the whole time going, now do I start, now do I start, now? Uh, now, sister, you're reminding me of those old funeral home fans used to be in the churches back south. And you'd have like a piece of wood and a staple piece of paper, paper and you'd say like Brooks Funeral Homes on it. And I don't know why I was always a funeral home fan, you know. It wasn't like a, hey, let's get excited about Jesus fan. It was like, hey, let's all die. And I just I never really understood that. But Let's all stand, turn to page 355. If you're excited to be in here, say amen. Thank you, Tiffany.
I think that was the first time we sang that one. <laughs> it sure seemed like it. <laughs> Let's do it again just so we can get it right. Huh? It is. breaking down but it's uh it's getting awful hot up here all right we will stop while we are ahead the top three so ken's number three now i'm saying this because if my mom's watching she says she would not allow you to get a pie in your face she does not want to see his hair get messed up but what, yeah, but what she doesn't know is you cannot mess it up. <laughs> the number one Silver State raiser of money this year. He went from last place to first place in one day. Grant Sullivan. Six hundred and twenty-one dollars. And 26 cents. Woo! That's like four tuitions right there, brother. Amen. And I want you to know I had nothing to do with that. You know who did it, don't you? It's hard to believe they can make that much money and dress so poorly. Amen. Uh, those banana shirts are slick, aren't they? Uh, Oh, 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 I forgot. I got to read you what my mom put. Because, Cindy, where are you at? Cindy DeGarmo. I think we should do a T-shirt with Ken's, the silhouette of his hair. Um, because my mom started a Save Kenny rally. And she put, we saved Kenny. We put $100 on that Justin guy. And then she wrote, save Kenny. His hair is not to be messed with. <laughs> that Justin guy. All right, pie in the face 2020. This is the last place. Last place. Pie in the face raises for Silver State. You may apply the pie. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Stolen? Is that what you said? Okay. All right, everybody stand and greet one another. God bless all of you. I could have talked that slow the first time I preached. <laughs> it is. You got a naturalness about you. I realized I need to bleach my teeth. Um, I have years of sweet tea and coffee staining my teeth, and yours look like a herd of goats shorn from their... 
okay, that just got awkward real quick, amen? <laughs> Never apply Song of Solomon to another man. I'll have to mention this Sunday morning when Brother DeGarmo's back in here, but I noticed when he was filling in, one of the comments was, I like this pastor. <laughs> That's a nice how do you do. <laughs> I need to get more DeGarmo like. All right, Psalm 18, we'll do verse 3 and 46. Last one we'll do is uh, 1 John 4, 7 and 8. since we sang that one, I don't know. Take time off. Amen. Not everybody at once. Take time off if you have to, amen? amen. I mean, if you'll call in sick because you got a gut ache, call in sick because you're sick of the world and you want to come here preaching. Amen. <laughs> and apparently there are some that are concerned about the Dr. Pepper shortage that has hit our shores. What's that? Well... That would be my wife, Danny, and Brandy. <laughs> Who? Jesse, you're a Dr. Pepper? Anybody else a Dr. Pepper drinker? Uh, pretty much every woman alive, I guess. Adam, you too? Oh, Sherry. I think it's a female drink. Huh. Well, would you pray about that, please? <laughs> This is serious. Uh, Brother Sullivan, when he leads music, he moves in. Uh, he's got a binder, a songbook, a Bible. Now, you may think this is a New Testament in Psalms. Uh-uh. That's the entire Word of God right there. And you ought to open this up and... Can, I'm sorry, brother. Can I touch your Bible? Um, Justin would be like... Um... I don't know how you read that, brother, but God bless you. All right. All right, if you would, take your Bibles, big or small. We don't judge our spirituality on the size of our Bibles. <laughs> but if you love the Lord, say amen. amen. If you're watching at home and you love the Lord, type amen. amen. I was thinking they have the church of the Nazarene. We are now the church of the quarantined. Amen. So let me tell you one thing that quarantine does for you. It wears you out. Then when you go to family camp and you play all these marathon games of cornhole, then you're sore for like four days. That's, that's what quarantine does for you. So, Brother Adam, you know you're getting out of shape when you complain about your exercise routine being cornhole. <laughs> Amen. So. Raising my sin. make up a fourth sorry it's really easy to lose count when you're trying to keep count all right now we're gonna to go to the new testament for those you've been coming for the last couple years if you just like kind of drop your bible it just falls open to john so we're gonna to go to matthew which is a which is a few books before that you know i was just telling i think it was tiffany earlier today 
know, the 830 service goes over just fine. And all of a sudden, the camera comes on. All kinds of weird stuff starts happening. <laughs> That's not what you're doing back here. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Sounds like a grizzly bear back here. <laughs> All right, is somebody singing a different verse than I am? All right, we're going to pull the ripcord on this thing and move on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm giving you a lot of material here, so. And thank you, Adam. Church would be a little more dull had you not been here tonight. <laughs> All right. I'm out. This is obviously in a way different tune than I'm used to doing it. Is that what we did last time? Yeah. You're right. Is that the same song? No, it's not the same song. <laughs> 55. 55, is that one? I was impressed, sister. You were just doing so Oh, oh, I can't do If you want to sing, brother, I'll let you come right up here. <laughs> All right. Let's do, let's do 55 instead. Oh, that's four sharps. My bad. Six. Hey, your son's the one running it. All right, let's do 57. We're just going to keep going through the Rolodex until we find something that works. <laughs> Fifty-seven. All right. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> They're doing it correct. I'm making a mess of it. He keeps talking about a blooper reel. I don't want to be the only thing on that thing. I was singing it the way you were singing it. Amen. <clears throat> I sure miss Brother Long. <laughs> Oh, mercy, that's funny. Hey, Amen. I just realized I was singing that song and making up words as I went, so sorry about that. <laughs> there is nothing more to give a guy a complex than looking out and seeing everyone smiling at me, and I'm thinking, like, is there something on my face? Is there something on behind me? It's crazy. We're going to go to Psalm 32. Psalm 32, and then kind of quickly run over to uh, Psalm 56.3. 32.7. All right. You know, a preacher keeps telling me there's kind of some kind of a blooper reel. And I, I told him and Miss Tiffany today, it seems like I'm making weekly submissions. <laughs> and I'd really like to quit, to be honest. <laughs> You're doing good, brother. Making the weekly submissions, I mean. <laughs> brother Jones, don't quit. Amen. back, Shug. Nobody puts Adrian in the corner. What are you doing back there? <laughs> Moving to South Dakota. Or South Dakota. <laughs> hey, thanks for being with us today. If you're visiting, it'll get better. Let's stand and say hello to those around us.
I was sent a text last night saying, hey, watch the news. Your church is being mentioned on the news. Yeah. yeah so come to find out the, the city was taking a poll of the best looking pastor. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, it was no contest. It, I'm surprised they even had to take the poll, but. The boys in the back are asking for a wave. They were like. <laughs> I got to think about where we're going to be. Huh. All right, we're going to be somewhere in the Bible. You don't need me up here at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Go ahead and be seated. Go ahead, Petraco. Come on. You know, does God just sit up there and like, just, 